weirdest undersea creatures. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 13, predatory tunicates. This picture from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows a predatory tunicate, an invertebrate creature discovered during deep water explorations of the Marianas Trench Marine National Monument. The creature somewhat resembles a jellyfish or a transparent balloon. Look closely and you can see that it's anchored to the seafloor, which is typical for this species. The hood-like shape is its mouth, which remains open until some small animal drifts inside, whereupon the tunicate shuts its mouth until it's ready to feast again. Hasselhoff crabs. The male species of this unique crab has a hairy chest, which prompted it to be nicknamed after Baywatch star David Hasselhoff. Studies have shown that the males and females spend separate lives around volcanic vents near Antarctica. They're a type of yeti crab recognized for the hairs, also called setae, which appear on their undersides. Deep sea remote operated vehicles revealed that large male crabs lived closest to hot fluids that jet from the highest mineral spires of the vents. At the base of the spires, smaller males mingle with females in huge piles where they congregate to mate. The females then leave that area because the mineral-rich fluids might prove toxic to the young. In this picture by T. Neeson, you can see yellow-headed wrasse fish hovering about brain coral in the Caribbean Sea near St. Croix. The small fish in the picture have a yellow coloration, which would indicate they're juveniles. As they mature, the fish will change their color as well as their gender. They're actually born female and later become males. They tend to stay close to coral as well, as you can see in the photo. Now, although this coral's spheroid shape is not so evident at this angle, you can see how the grooves and ridges are reminiscent of a brain. Exquisite urchins. They're found in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of New Caledonia and are found at depths of more than 1,700 feet. As you can see, the coloration of these creatures is distinctive and vibrant. They usually measure up to 35 millimeters in diameter and were only discovered in 2006. The unusual pigmentation appears on the skin and in the skeleton as well. And it's also made the urchins popular as collector's items. Whiplash squid. This majestic creature has rarely been glimpsed alive, so marine biologists were thrilled when they captured video of it. The deep sea squid measures up to two meters long and is formally known as Taninja Danny. It actually attached itself to the back of a remote operated vehicle that was exploring deep waters in the Pacific Ocean off the Hawaiian coast, and then swam to the front. Researchers think the animal was attracted by the vehicle's bright lights and reactive aggressively. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said it plans to use the close-up footage to learn more about the elusive creature. Whiplash squid are known to travel up to two and a half miles per hour and can generate bright light thought to be used used for measuring distance or for blinding prey. Can you actually believe this is a jellyfish? The bizarre creature was found in the Mariana Trench in the Western Pacific Ocean during a deep water exploration mission at a depth of 3,700 meters. The orb-like creature resembles a shiny holiday decoration. The red color is thought to be its radial canals, and the shiny yellow might be its gonads. The animal appeared to be floating through the deep waters with its bell motionless and its tentacles extended, suggesting an ambush predatory mode. While able to identify its genus, experts still have not assigned a precise name to the jellyfish. What do you think they should call it? Siphonophores. They're noted for their bizarre appearance and are sometimes mistaken for jellyfish, as is often the case with the venomous Portuguese man of war. But while they appear to be a single organism, these creatures are actually composed of colonies of specialized individual animals called zoids. Each zoid has a specific function, such as attack or defense. One species, the Praia dubia, or giant siphonophore, is one of the longest animals on the planet. It can reach lengths of 40 meters and is the second longest sea organism. Cannonball jellyfish. 
You can probably guess how this creature got its name. Just look at that cannonball shape. A few years ago, a new species of the creature was found in the Gulf of California, a blue cannonball. And you can get a good look at it in the picture by Liza Gomez Dalio. Its bright coloration shows up in vivid contrast to its surroundings, don't you think? The dome-shaped bells can measure around 10 inches in diameter. And if you look underneath the bell, you can make out a cluster of appendages that extend outwards around the mouth. The appendages help the creature propel itself and to catch prey. This is a scorpion fish, but in the photograph by K. Patchy, appears to make the creature look like it's on fire. The brilliant orange coloration almost makes it appear like a demonic goldfish, but its scary appearance actually helps it hide in seaweed, where it waits for prey. If you look closely, you can make out the animal's eyes and mouth. Not so easy to discern are its sharp spines, which are coated with a toxic mucus. The scorpion fish family includes some of the most venomous species in the world. Fireworms. With the long, flattened appearance and multiple segments, these creatures can resemble centipedes and grow up to 30 centimeters long. Its colors can range from green to red to pearly white. They're found in tropical coastal waters of the Atlantic Ocean and often favor marine environments like corals, rocks, and mud. It's also known as a bearded fireworm due to its bristles. When flared, those bristles can penetrate human skin and inject a powerful neurotoxin. Toxin. In 2012, British scientists found a lost world of marine life hidden almost 8,000 feet on the seafloor. Anemones and barnacles were found living on top of hydrothermal vents, which are undersea volcanoes pumping out black smoke and causing temperatures to rise to 380 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to melt lead. Among the two dozen new species found were huge heaps of yeti crabs, numbering up to 600 in some spots, along with what is believed to be an entire new species of octopus. Some of the creatures were so close to the vents that burn marks were visible on the shells. Temperatures are boiling in the immediate vicinity of the vents, but they cooled down to around 20 degrees Celsius a few hundred meters away. Experts say the creatures live in complete darkness and break down toxic chemicals found in the smoke to obtain the energy. Stalked Medusa Jellyfish. In this picture by Alan Collins, the creature looks like kind of a giant orange claw, but it's actually a mere two centimeters long and was found off the California coast. The stalk-like shape on the left is actually the bottom of the creature. In comparison to other jellyfish, these creatures appear to be oriented upside down with the tentacles, which you can see to the right, projecting upwards. Icon Worm. This creature was found in the Marianas Trench Marine National Monument area near Guam and Saipan in the Pacific Ocean. There's around 90 species of this invertebrate animal around the world. They live deep in the ocean on the seafloor and move slowly. If you look closely at the photo from the NOAA, you can see the animal's proboscis, which is shaped like an acorn, and inspires its name. Along with the fleshy collar and long, worm-like trunk, this is the typical anatomy displayed by acorn worms. Did you know these creatures have hundreds of gill slits that they use for breathing? <laughs> 